Ryan Landry has taken the classic Fritz Lang film, M, and exploded it. He hasn't adapted it, he has exploded it. He has taken it and turned it into fragments and blown it up like a helium balloon and expanded the world uh, of the movie. It will be reminiscent of the film, but it is not like we are trying to put Fritz Lang's film on stage. And what Ryan did was take elements of the film and the story and use them as a way to tell his own story. In the search for a murderer of children, a community discovers that the world is not what they think. What our play actually becomes about is the introduction of various new characters into the story, specifically a, a vintage comedy style man and woman who begin to derail things as they've always happened. We are, for example, elements of the story that are not part of the film. So, you know, it's, it's difficult because sometimes people say, oh, I love M, who are you yeah. playing are you? in the movie? And I'm like, I, I'm actually not in the movie. It's like two parts romantic comedy, two parts dream play, and then the story of M, the movie. There's some funny characters in the film. Fritz Lang knew that, you know, you have to introduce moments of lightness. There are many funny things, lots of great comedy, lots of great sight gags and, and fantastic characterizations, and then it's kind of like the hammer comes down. Ryan has beautifully extrapolated from the movie to consider the human condition and also uh, the creative impulse. There will be a lot to connect to in this play and, and a lot to think about, but also a lot that will entertain you in the moment. Right. And it's just... There's a lot of really hilarious perfect. moments and there's a lot of really beautiful human moments. Brian is brilliant and crazy. I respect him and his work and what his work does so much that getting to be a part of that process and getting to figure out how those wheels are turning is, uh, is really fun. Most of the Ryan shows I've done, we, we're in the basement of uh, a leather bar and um, uh, you just are gluing your props together and you're you're just helping out and carrying boxes and stuff like that and here at the Huntington it's it's just so deluxe this is how would a, a Huntington show written by Ryan Landry what would it be what what would it it look like and I think everybody is rising to the challenge like crazy for people who have seen gold dust orphan shows and are like how are they going to bring their aesthetic where you have birds on strings and model trains in this tiny basement nightclub to the Wimberley stage? And it's actually not as different as you think. It's going to be exciting for us to be able to share this aesthetic, this style, this world with people who have not had an opportunity to experience it yet. And I'm thrilled that uh, the Huntington is giving us that chance. so complex and I have to just say again it's really funny